At least you can kind of understand him in this game. And we have Jeet. Hey, it's Jeet. All right, we got Jeet. Jeet, Jeet, Jeet it up, Jeet it up every day. And now we can't do anything. Do 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 do. So I guess we'll talk to this dragon over here. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Until Patreon's up and uh, functioning a little more popular, uh, we will be doing just random PS2 games that we have saved on the console because I need to get them out of the way so I can delete them and then uh, uh, download new ones. So, for the time being, we'll be doing Spyro and to the Dragonfly for the Sony PlayStation 2. I'm on a PlayStation 2 kick now that I got the stuff to work out properly, and it's been phenomenal. It runs so fast and so smooth, and like, look at this, it looks great. So, first things first is we're definitely, definitely going to have to turn down the volume. So we're going to pick the very last save here, and we're going to pick, let's pick the Honey Farmer to eat. Alright, so I can only turn down the volume like once we actually get there. So, loading, instead of saying like in the world of dragons or something cool like that, we just have that. So, enjoy the cutscene. It's just a float, you scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Uh, right, Sparks. So, we meet again, little dragon. I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever! Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you! This is an invitation-only party. Very clever, Dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, uh, yeah! Uh, what do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian land mass! Keep thinking and I will send you back to the place I found you, unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, back to what I was saying. Well, what do I want this time? I am glad that you asked, Purple Pest, and I will be happy to demonstrate. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, dragonflies. <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but... You see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon, the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> Spyro, that little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies! Even Sparks is gone! Spyro, Hunter, don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. Sparks! I thought I lost you, pal. That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back! Whoa! What'd you do that for? Drat, that didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is, you're gonna have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool! Come on, Sparks! Let's get going! 
We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day? He meant to say day off. So, first things first, there are a few issues with playing this on uh, PC SX2, and that's the whole issue with the uh, audio being out of sync. You have to install a cheat and everything, and it causes other issues to other games, so I'm going to ignore that right now. This game is already janky as is, and I also found a few flaws to this game already. Now, and I don't mean... Like, the gameplay itself is, is still in sync and everything, so that's all that matters. But the issue I have with this game is that the lore is all butchered. So, Ripto says that he found uh, Gull, or uh, Crush, in Molten... Or, no, it was Gull. In Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty Nork. First of all, Nasty Nork is from the Dragon Realms himself. So, that's a thing. And on top of that, Crush and Gulp are known to be uh, from Skilo's Badlands, and apparently that's also where Ripto resided. And then apparently in the Game Boy games, he has a, an actual homeland called uh, Ripto Chateau. So, that's a thing. Anyways, the controls. Squares to charge, unlike Heroes Dale. Circles to flame. X is to jump, obviously X again to glide, and then X again at the... Or never mind. Oh, let me guess, you're gonna talk about gems. Yeah, gems are currency. Yeah, too much dragon treasure, we all know that. Uh, red gems are worth 1, green 2, uh, blue 5, and gold are 25, apparently, in this game. For whatever reason, there's no purple. Uh, triangles to look around, L1 and R1 are to bring up your inventory and change your breath types. Uh, start, you can go to your atlas. Now there's an issue, if you press, if you go to like these, and then if you press square, you'll warp, so you don't want to do that. So do not press that while you're in a level. That's a given. And other than that, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, you can't 100% this level, oh, never mind. that actually wanted me to go here. Uh, I guess we'll... I guess we'll save. So, we'll, we'll do that just in case. So, now things shouldn't be too loud. Um, we have to get dragonflies, but to get dragonflies, you're gonna need bubble breath. And, yeah, he'll tell you how to break the baskets. Which, you, it says charge them, but you can just flame them. Though, in this game, charging is honestly your best friend, because a lot of the gems, they go invisible. So, charging things is honestly the best bet if you can charge them. You can also charge jump, and there's one of the runes, so that's super useful. I'm, I, is this where Bianca comes into play? It is. Here, take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic, and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. They're shy, and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Oh yeah, yeah. And the whole dialogue being out of s or like the dialogue being slower than the actual voice is in the actual game. Yeah, I remember to know that part. So yeah, there's four breath types, very reminiscent of a hero's tale if you've been watching that playthrough. So there's fire, electric, ice, and water, and wing shield. I know the magic of this sacred room will bestow upon you the power of bubble breath. Yay, bubble breath. Or bobble breath. So, um, yeah, you press L1 and you get that. I gotta get back into the habit of... Yeah, 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 use the bubble breath. And there we go. Tombs. Um, Sparks, this isn't about you, sir. This is about Spyro and... Hunting down dragonflies as if he's some kind of maniac. I don't even know what I'm on about. Yeah, there's a lot of visual glitches in this game, a lot of just bugs and other glitches and things like that, and it's just super, super janky. And technically, you can't 100% every level. So, for example, the first level that we've seen in our book was the Dragonfly Dojo. Which we can't actually beat yet. Also, are you not going to tell me how to glide and stuff in this game, Sparks? That seems like a huge oversight. Like, this game doesn't look bad. In my opinion, it does almost look better than a hero's tale. 
But, the issue with this game is, is there's a lot of just jankitude. Like, you'll see once we get later on, some levels are really bad and some aren't that bad. Like, Monkey Monastery is probably one of the better levels. And here we need the Ice Breath to open it. Don't forget, you can switch your breath up. In, I think they fixed it in the, um... In the emulator version, but you used to be able to charge through the fence if you were to hold it down. I remember doing that on my actual uh, GameCube playthrough. I think I had it on GameCube, which has one of the worst loading times in the entire uh, franchise, by the way. Out of any Spyro game. Yeah, see, they're worth 25. I also don't want to talk to the bear if at all possible, because he's kind of a future level. And Oh yeah, let me guess. The sheep give you health. Oh my god, yeah, they act like if you play this game, you've never played it before, but... I kind of wish, like, some games would allow you to, like, figure things out on your own a little more. There's really not much we can do here, though, because you need to collect dragonflies. Now, this is where, apparently, Ripto resides, because that's his little waygate thing. It's funny, because he really has no influence on this game whatsoever. Like, he's not part of it. Like, until the final boss fight. Apparently, this game was supposed to have Nasty North, the Sorceress, and uh, Ripto and his minions come back. But for whatever reason, they, the budget was cut short, the time constraints were cut short, and the game was just immediately rushed for one of the early releases of the uh, second 3D platformer, or second 3D <laughs> consoles. You said the exact same thing again. And no, okay, they did fix it on this. If you can tell, this is an HD version of the game. Like, it looks a lot better than it used to. It did not look this good. Anyways, I guess we can go do that hunter challenge thing up here, which I think is just to teach you how to glide. For whatever reason, since Spyro 2, Hunter's always been the one to teach you how to glide, yet you're the, uh, the, the dragon and he's a cat. And we already know how to glide, so we can go over this. I'll only listen to the characters that teach you advice that I haven't already taught you. So, like, when you go to a new world, or you have to do a mini-game there or something, then we'll listen to them. Because then it's actually story important, so... That's the thing. Way to go! Yeah, and some of them do just straight up give you dragonflies. Not all dragonflies are earned by using bubble breath on them. Oh, yeah, and the challenge gate. So, essentially, you just have to use whatever breath type it is, and then you have to destroy all the things around the area. And the fact that he calls me a putz is kind of mean, man. Now, give me my dragonfly, sir. Nice work, Spyro! And check this out. I found a dragonfly! Here, why don't you take it? Also, why don't you have your mouth animated? Hey, it's Bubbles! Alright, we got Bubbles. That's kind of cool, I guess. Also, how did you get it all bubbly? Okay, so we gotta burn eight Scarecrows. That's kind of cool, I guess. Nothing really fancy. Also, there is a gem over here that we missed, so that's, that's super useful. It's funny, because this is actually not the easiest one of these challenges throughout this game. There are easier ones of this. Whoa, I, I don't know why... See, this game doesn't do the weird 360 thing, but it does lag behind sometimes, which is causing some issues in the gameplay. Which we only need three more, and then there's one here, and then I think one up above, I think? Wait, Wait, no, it's right there. Oh man! If I didn't jump up there, we would've got it. So, this one's actually not that bad. So we'll go back and do it. And then we'll probably go to the first level, and then call it an episode after we explore there for uh, just a wee bit. Um, hello game. When I flame something, please flame it, not uh, do whatever the frig you're doing. I kind of want to avoid that by running beside it because it slowed us down last time and caused some real issues. The biggest issue with this game outside of like it being just super rushed is hitboxes are notoriously clunky. Oh 
Oh yeah, I can see the the scarecrow from here. I don't know why I didn't notice that the first time. Also, I clicked circle and it kept speeding. That's another thing. Like, there is this. Ow. There is this weird kind of janky slowdown, and that should be it. Okay, at least you can kind of understand him in this game. And we have Jeet. Hey, it's Jeet. All right, we got Jeet. Jeet, Jeet, Jeet it up, Jeet it up every day. And now we can't do anything. Do 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 do. So I guess we'll talk to this dragon over here. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro, find the dragonflies before Ripto. Yeah, you don't see Ripto anywhere. Now, did we miss any gems around here? Nope. So, I guess we're going to the very first level, and we can get all the gems here, but there's one dragonfly we won't be able to get. So, that's the thing. Oh god, that looks so bad. And the sound effect is terrible. And this game actually has way less levels than any Spyro game in the series. Like, Spyro 1, 2, 3, all the Game Boy games... Um, Hero's Tale, all of them technically have more gems. Or more gems, more levels. Oh no, Spyro! It looks like the Riptox have frozen all the Dragon Masters! You're going to have to use your flame breath to melt the ice and find out what happened here. Okay, use flame breath, figure out what happened here. Got it. I am perfectly down for this. As much as I find this game janky, do you think I like it still? Of course I do. It's Spyro. Oh, we got another one. Steffi. Hey, it's Steffi. Nice. I'm always up for more. And I will admit, the music in this game is good. Also, the fact that they're Rip Talks is really weird, because even the Game Boy games all used Rip Talks, and I'm not actually entirely sure what their huge boner is with Rip Talks, but yeah, that's perfectly fine, though how come now he has Rip Talks? Did he just like summon him? Oh god, the slowdown sound effect of the water, and the slowdown isn't the emulator. It's the actual game itself. The game is just really, really, really bad with slowdown. Okay, that's a little on the emulator right there. It's normally not that bad. But it's still not the worst game to play. That's why I stopped uploading Simpsons Hit and Run until I can fix things. I thought restarting my computer would help things, but it's just certain games are uh, not optimized. I might actually install the HD uh, remake mod to the Simpsons Hit and Run because it looks substantially better than the game. And man, there's a lot of gems around here, but luckily this version of the game, which looks way better, makes it way easier to see everything, which I will, I do appreciate what the, uh, whoever did that to this game, uh, you know, I just appreciate their work. Oh god, it's slowing down. I think it's the water. Ooh, a 25 gem, even though it's gold. That's going to probably confuse me in the future, even though I know that in this game they're an odd number choice. I know we have to go to the uh, the, do uh, the, 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 the the Sensei? Dojo Master? Dojotron 9000? I don't know. But I kind of want to just collect everything here. I think it's actually a good spot to end the episode after we free this Dragon Master. Yes, there's a lot of gems around him. This game has a lot of gems, man. Like, that just, like, lay around in every level. So, let's flame him and see what he has to say. Ah, Spyro. Thank goodness you had the sense to free me from that icy cage. Who would have thought the Riptox would dare invade the sacred Dragonfly Dojo? Spyro, do what you can to return the Dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the Dragon Masters. Remember, Spyro. The way of the dragon is to be a dragon. Okay, Bruce Lee. I his name's Bruce. It's gotta be Bruce Lee, right? Man, I hate games when they do cutscenes that they do that, um... 
black bar thing. It makes it hard to make uh, thumbnails. Oh yeah, I gotta flame the enemy. Because he's too big to fight otherwise. Yay! So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and the Patreon, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye and have a wonderful day.